Hi guys, hope you're all keeping well. Um, we're currently into week four now of a lockdown in the UK and keeping the kids entertained while they're off school is getting to be a bit of a pain in the backside. We've been doing a lot of home cooking recently and one of the things we don't have is a pressure cooker or a slow cooker. Um, so I thought I'd uh, find something that would do all the different jobs and this is what we've come up with. We're just going to use it to make things like uh, pie fillings, you know, bulk cooking, things like that. As you can see, it comes in quite a nice retail box. It's quite a heavy little unit, nicely packaged, gives you the basics on the back. Um, something I should say is one of the things, reasons my wife decided to have this one over the other one is because it's got a steam release which is operated by the machine itself rather than just lifting the lever. So when it's finished it'll either automatically, if you've got it on a program, it'll automatically release the steam um, or you can do it manually when you want to and that way you're not putting your hand on the top of it and risk burning you, yourself releasing steam. So it's a nice little safety feature and especially when the wife is using it as well as you know the kids being around how oh, that hurt. So I'll have a look and see what we get in the box. So there's the actual pressure cooker, cooker itself. Let's see what else we've got in the box. The Fast Slow Pro Quick Guide. It's just basically a quick user instructions. Tells you the different bits, and what they are, and what you can use them for. And we have a recipe book and that's so that it's named after this one. I believe in other parts of the world it's just called the Breville uh, but over here in the UK they call it the uh, Sage by Heston Bloomtime who's a reasonably famous British chef. He's not as famous as the likes of Gordon Ramsay and so forth. Uh, but they've got a few, a few nice basic recipes in here like by the looks of it so I'm going to look through that in a bit. It's quite a nice looking unit it's aluminium or stainless steel should i say digital display under there got a twist to release there so that unlocks it that comes off as such and then inside we've got the accessories like a raised rack uh, power lead some sort of measuring cup i think a colander steaming straining rack thing uh, and the removable non-stick cooking bowl which has markings there so you can, we can, you can see it in this light um, has markings so you can see how much you have in One thing I've noticed is the power lead that comes with it is very short, um, but it's just a standard kettle lead. So if you've got one of these kicking around from a computer or some other item, plus you can buy them, I'd put a longer cable on just to make life easier. As it stands, it will fit pretty much where we're going to keep it in our, when we're using it in our kitchen, which is just on the hob underneath the extractor. So any, any steam will just get sucked outside because that vents outside fill the ball. This hopefully is something that the kids can use being supervised by me or the wife uh, without having loads of pans on the hot hob. You just pop them in here, stir it, less chance of them getting burnt and then close it up and let it cook and then they just ladle it out into the pie trays once we're done. So we'll give come back later and give it a try but initial impressions it was a nice machine and if you're looking at it something like this hopefully this is uh, give you an insight as to if you prefer the look of this one over the Pressure King Pro. Okay, so as you can see, it's finished now, so it's ready for us to put some ingredients in. I'm just going to start off first with some uh, sliced onion. As you can tell, it is obviously hot because it's sizzling away nicely. There's a dash of oil. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll put some uh, chopped steak in.
and we'll do the same with that. Give it a bit of a stir around and uh, round it off a bit. As you can see, it's starting to uh, round nicely as we say. Just give an idea of quantity for what's in here. We've got two packs of uh, 700 grams, so you've got 1.4 kilograms. And there, uh, just to give an idea, and as you can see, there's plenty of space, we could probably double that up. So we're about three and a half minutes in at the moment with the meat, and as you can see, it's searing nicely. So to be honest, so far it's not doing a, a too bad a job. Yeah, in the frying pan it might have been pretty much done by now, or browned, but you know, this is a lot more convenient for you to throw it in. That noise, sorry, is just the uh, extractor. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to stop that. And we're going to change it onto the saute for a little bit, just to soften everything up a little bit. As you can see, we've got everything in there now. Tate is veg, uh, stock, herbs, etc. So I think about five. We'll just leave this about five minutes bubbling away. Okay, so we've done the uh, sautéing of it. We've let it bubble away nicely for a little bit. As you can see, that's pretty much ready now to to go. So what we're going to do is now put it onto pressure cook. So we select that. It does come up with a nice little menu. Um, casserole is probably the closest to what we're doing here, even though it's going to be a pie filling. So we'll select that. As you can hear, it's now telling us to prompt to close the lid. So you close the lid. You turn this to lock it, and there's a little indicator here just to show you. There we go, and it's also chimed to tell you that it's okay. Push start, uh, and that's it, and I'll build up the pressure, uh, and then start counting down on the timer. And then when it's finished, it releases the steam for you from the back without you having to touch anything. So, let's see what it's like in an hour. So it's just beat, and I wasn't ready for it, and it's not much it releasing the steam, as you can see. That was quite good that it's doing it all. Oh yeah, if we put this on and get ready to bring it out. But yeah, it, so it, it beeped when it was ready and now it's releasing the steam. So you can see it's not been that long. And it's now releasing the pressure and it shows you what pressure we've got on that little gauge left to go. So we'll see you in a moment. <laughs> so it's finished, it's time to have a look. Yeah! It's beeping. That looks quite nice actually. So the moment of truth, the steak bake eater. We'll be eating these as a pie. Yeah! No pressure. <laughs> no pressure at all! Well, is it cooked? Yeah, it's cooked! Oh, she's going back for more, so <laughs> that probably tells you what it's we need like to know. It's like cocktail crisps. No, it's not. Yes, so there you go, is. anyway. That's the Sage by Bloom and Heston, whatever his name is. Heston Bloom and Sam, sorry. Um, pressure cooker, slow cooker combination. Um, hope you found that video useful. Please like and subscribe. And as things are currently out there, be safe. Give us some likes and some subscribe. Say bye. We will Please comment down below.